Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Explaining channel and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the solar distillation. Distillation means it is a purification. The purification of the impure water, what we carry out, that we will call as a distillation. And for that, we need the energy and here we are going to use the solar energy for the distillation purpose. Here one type of the solar still distillation process we can see. Here the dirty water is in that present in that solar still passing and the heat from the sun's rays radiation is passing through this transparent cover and reaching to the water surface and that will enough to evaporate the water and that if vapor of the water which is ravages to this transparent cover layer and what below that whatever the transparent cover is there there it will be condensed because of the lower temperature and flows down through this rope shape like safe and collected in the troughs and thereby we are going to get the that pure drinkable water from it then here the what what is the necessity of that uh, uh, using the purification okay there is a distillation is required that is fresh water is a necessity for the sustenance of life and is also key to man's prosperity for the uh, that is civilization development it is necessary and it is generally observed that in arid semi-arid that is uh, dry areas okay the completely dry and semi-dry areas there and coastal areas which are thinly populated the population is very less there and scattered okay that is distributed that one at one location only the population is not there and scattered and distributed in the uh, different locations there in those areas one or two family members are always busy bringing fresh water from long distance here the fresh water is not if not available then the whatever the family members are there those are busy in bringing that fresh water from the long distance in these areas solar energy is plentiful as well in the dry areas like deserts and uh, in the coastal areas there there is a uh, plentiful of the solar energy is available the solar energy is more available and can be used for converting saline or impure water into distilled water that solar energy we can use to convert that saline or impure water into a distilled water pure water pure water can be obtained by distillation in the simplest solar still okay there are many different methods we can use but the simplest whatever the method is there that is a solar still generally known as basin type solar still that basin type solar still uh, for the distillation that I am going to explain here. Here this is a solar water still. It consists of a basin which is lined with a black color. Okay, here this is a blackened surface. And in, um, in the basin the impure water will be present. And it is enclosed by the airtight roof. Okay, airtight cover which is in the form of roof okay this is a airtight transparent cover okay which is okay in the roof type safe okay then this whatever the roof is there that is slope towards the outwards and whenever the radiation transfer through this transparent cover reaching to the brain uh, this blackened surface and get heated that is converted into heat the after the absorption of the heat okay that heat will be heats the water so that that whatever heat is there it is enough to okay, convert the water into its vapor then the after receiving the heat from the sun rays the water will be converted into water vapor and that vapor rises and reaches to the below surface of the, this transparent cover and here the transparent cover will transfer almost all the rays okay and absorbs very less therefore 
the below surface what is there it is having the lower temperature so that it is cool enough to condense the whatever the water vapor reaching to that surface and the water is condensed below the this transparent cover roof then as it is sloping towards the outwards the water droplets will be move move towards the outwards and that will be collected in the troughs that water will be collected at the troughs, troughs at the ends then the continuously water will be condensing and flowing to the troughs and that will be stored in the uh, for uh, as a pure water and here the water impure water whatever are they uh, whatever is there okay that will be continuously supplied for the operation or batch wise it can be supplied and so that it will be refilled continuously and the continuous process of the that whatever the purification is there that will be carried out that you can see and here the water whatever is there it will be filled through this filler and the if any excess water is there that is the overflow line from that is it will go out and basin whatever is there it is surrounded by the insulation because heat should not pass uh, to this uh, outside so it should not lose whatever uh, collected in the black and surface so that the insulation is provided to that one and this condensed water droplets these are shown here and the transparent cover in this way the whatever the conversion of the impure water into pure water will be carried out by using the solar energy or solar heat this can be explained in this way the solar water still is shown in schematically in figure 5.28 it consists of a blackened basin containing a saline water at a shallow depth. At particular depth, it is having the saline water, or which a transparent airtight cover that encloses complete the space above the basin. A transparent airtight cover is provided which encloses that completely space above the basin. It has a roof-like shape. The roof-like shape is there. The cover which is usually of glass or maybe a plastic is sloped towards the collection trough. Okay, towards the collection trough it is sloped. Solar radiation passes through the cover and is absorbed and converted into heat on the black surface. Okay, that solar radiation is passes through the cover and is absorbed and converted into heat in the, on the black surface. Impure water in the basin or tray is heated and vapor produced is condensed to purified water on the cooler interior of the roof. Okay, that is converted into vapor and condensed okay, under surface of that whatever the transparent cover is there. The transparent roof material transmits nearly all radiation falling on it and absorbs very little. Hence, it remains cool enough to condense the water. Okay, as it is transferring all the radiation, it is not absorbing, it is having the low temperature cool enough to condense the water vapor. The condenser water flows down the sloping roof and is collected in troughs at the bottom. Okay, that is moves through the sloping and collected at the bottom troughs. Saline water can be replaced in the operation by either continuous operation or by batches. Okay, that water will be replaced by continuous operation or batches. Okay, this is the one of the energy conversion method where the solar energy can be used for the distillation of the impure water. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe and share and comment if you like the session. Thank you.